<laughs> they take some getting used to it. I need the support of everyone. And it's not just about me. It's a whole community. There is a stigma against deaf people becoming astronauts and pilots. So it takes a supportive and cohesive team of people to navigate a path through the regulations. Congratulations, Julian. You have won our student astronaut competition. We were so impressed with your passion. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. It includes scientists and engineers who gather at the site and they do an eight month long research training to discover what life would be like on Mars. It was just really fascinating to see what kind of experiments and research that they were doing there at the facility. I was able to stay overnight as well and to get a taste of what potentially life might be like for us out there. Once I got there, two of the members of the crew came up to me and they already knew sign. They understood the use of different forms of communication. So how long have you been learning sign language for? Um, just since the mission. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. really? Oh it. my gosh, wow. <laughs> That's so cool. You guys are inspiring me to want to learn more sign language. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Very cool. One part of this experience, we had a problem with the radio. So the three of us agreed upon using particular signs to communicate with each other. And my hope is, with this particular experience, that I was maybe able to educate the people there. That there are different ways to communicate that don't rely solely on sound. Good. That's good. I do believe that's the next step in this process, to change the attitude. American astronauts have to learn Russian in order to work with Russian astronauts, with their space agencies. So why not incorporate ASL into that? People like me who share passion and want to become an astronaut know that becoming a pilot is an integral step in that process. And becoming a pilot will teach me navigation skills, problem solving skills, communication skills, working with a team and those skills are just absolutely necessary for working with NASA or other space programs. And so I'm doing everything I can within my capability to do that for that lofty goal. The dream, it's just a dream, but we'll see what happens. I'll do my best to get there. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.